Alright, so my name is Daisy. I'm from ISM Africa. What we do at ISM is construction, modular construction. We do not do conventional type of building. This means that we do alternative methods of building that saves you time and saves you money. So for example, our product today that we're showcasing is called Tetris. This is a Tetris structure. So for Tetris, the way we do it is we will construct the units using a steel frame as a substructure. Then we'll do fiber cement panels on the exterior, insulation and gypsum on the inside. So just come and do it. Alright, so as I mentioned before, we do fiber cement board. This is the fiber cement on the exterior. Let me just walk you through the whole house. designs that we have we can also apart from houses we can do houses and offices any restaurant any playground anything that you would need Tetris would be the solution I will walk you through the floor plan first then I can tell you the details of this this is a one-bedroom unit, as you can see we have a lot of people who are interested in this. It's a one-bedroom unit of 39 square meters. This means that you have the toilet, the bathroom, the kitchen and the living room area. This is the sitting room. Open plan kitchen with a breakfast counter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. And then uh, right behind you is where the toilet and the bathroom. So one bedroom unit, thirty nine square meters. This means that we've accommodated the things that I mentioned earlier and it, uh, it starts at 2.5 million. So the reason we came up with Tetris, which is essentially steel, a steel frame, just like the so container. The, overall is a steel. the framing is a steel. Uh -huh. It's steel. Just like modular housing in, in the US and the UK in the US and the UK. But the UK, the way they do it is, they build with wood. But us, instead of doing wood, we're doing steel. One, Kenya already be available and cheaper compared to wood that we buy in Kenya. The structure is steel. But the inside? Now, steel is the one that carries the unit. Then we've done fiber cement with the exterior, insulation, the gypsum, as you can see on the inside. Yeah. So you just tell us, because you, I will be the one who will be guiding you through the process of uh, from start to finish. Mm -hmm. You tell me so that I tell the technical team, mm -hmm. ensure that this unit will be able to receive solar. If you, even if you want it fully off-grid, we will do that. And then I have to mention the steel that we're using is galvanized and also anti-rust. We use marine grade paint that is anti-rust. Anti-rust means that over a period of time does not rust. Yes. The way we do the foundations is dependent on your land. Let's say, for example, you, your land is slanting, it's sloping. Let's say, for example, your land is black or tall. Yeah, all, these, all these things, the foundation determines what your land is like. So we come, we assess, we tell you what foundations will be needed. Some, some don't even need um, such a raised uh, columns. We just do like 300 uh, millimeters above ground, and that's it, yes. Some even don't need the slab columns. Some, need, some clients want full slab deck. That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> the kitchen, the bedroom, the toilet, the bathroom are all dependent on how we want it to be. So we don't we do not have to give you our standard design. This is just another example. But you sit with the architect and then you choose the way that you want the things to look. You want the bedroom to be this size. You want the whole bedroom to be 90 square meters and things like that. Yes. 